Minneapolis City Council members are moving forward a proposal to dismantle the police department. All 12 members present at today's meeting voted to take the next step in restructuring the police department. They have started a process that could end up giving voters a chance to change the city charter to not require a police department in its current form. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, the mayor is not happy. Minneapolis Police Department is likely the most talked about department in the country, a department that could be dismantled. In a unanimous vote, 12 council members agreed to move to amend the charter that protects the department. For us to be able to keep our residents safest, we need to be able to actually do the work in an open democratic way, mm -hmm. which currently that is not the case. One after another, council members made suggestions on creating a new kind of department with more community input in different kinds of non-armed responders to domestic or mental health calls. And that we have an opportunity to really do something in Minneapolis that hasn't been done before. And that if we engage the public, if we're smart about what we uh, about how we uh, engage the pu the public and then design and implement these programs, we're actually going to make people safer. Council members want the city charter amended so the dismantling could go to a vote. This amendment to our legal city charter does not provide clarity. There are more questions that I have regarding this amendment than answers. The mayor came out swinging, doubling down on his support of current chief, Madaria Arredondo. I'm standing by our chief, and to the extent that this amendment demotes him or relieves him of power or makes it even more difficult for him because he's now got to report to 14 different people, a structural change that was done without any form of community engagement, I think that's all a problem. The mayor says he believes change is deeply needed and he and the chief have a plan to rebuild the current department. Council members say they will push to let voters make the ultimate call in November. It was the first step in a long process, but it's a critical step in the right direction. There's going to be a public virtual meeting. We'll put a link on our website. That will be on July 8th. In Minneapolis, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, Floor News. The board of the Police Officers Federation of Minneapolis responded to the vote saying it's irresponsible and a disservice to all Minneapolis residents.